Hello YouTube, no machining in this video today but I am going to be doing a, a minute or two of talking about uh, an upcoming addition to the lathe. Uh, I, I ordered a 5C collet chuck and a backplate for it and the backplate is going to need some slight machining to suit this spindle nose. It's 1 and 3 quarter inch by 8 TPI and then there's a 1.810, I think it's actually supposed to be spot on the nose of 46 millimeters um, but this this register here is 46 millimeter diameter by I think it was 9 or 10 millimeters long uh, I can't remember off the top of my head so today's project was a small simple one to machine a copy of it so that when I have the new back plate mounted in the forge or chuck um, I can simply put the bore in for, for this register and then screw this in rather than having to flip the part around, flip the part and the chuck around, mess around with it and then have to put it back again because that chuck is, it's not a heavy chuck by, by like machining standards, but it's heavier than what I find comfortable to lift because I'm not very strong. So this guy just screws in the front, test fit, if it doesn't fit then I take a bit more off, if it does fit then I'm done. Um, yeah that's that's pretty much the plan. I'm amazed at how how well the threads turned out. It, this is a metric lathe and I did a TPI on it um, just by running, I, I left the half nut permanently engaged and just engaged and just went backwards and forwards retracting on the um, on the reverse and then plunging back in um, giving enough clearance for backlash to get taken up and, and for everything to sort of re-engage again nicely and I think the threads are a little bit loose but given that the back plate that I'm getting already has the threads put in I don't need to worry about the threads it's just this diameter here that that was critical and I got that as close as I can measure with calipers I don't have a micrometer large enough for this yet um, that's that's uh, that's still on its way but this was this was done with carbide Banggood carbide um, reasonably happy with the finish on it. Um, I ran it only at 120 RPM and it's one and three quarter inch so it's around about 44 millimeter diameter and it I don't think the surface speed is high enough for carbide here but because the pitch is kind of aggressive for me and I'm still new to single point threading uh, I wasn't comfortable running it much faster than that so yeah uh, that's that's sort of how this came about and there's very very little chatter I can see some just with the naked eye if I look very carefully if I take some photos it'll probably definitely come up as it catches contrast way better and so we can see the shadows and highlights of, of chatter marks a lot easier that way um, but yeah I was I was reasonably happy with how how the thread turned out overall uh, it could be a little bit better around around the front edge here um, and also in the back where I cut the cut the relief groove as I was threading the um, the faceplate on it was starting to get a little bit tight here and that's because as I was retracting um, the cutter was not cutting quite so deep in the last one or two threads so I wound up cutting the relief groove in after cutting the thread and um, it just cleaned right up the well it didn't clean right up the the faceplate just screwed on quite nicely that way uh, that's pretty much it I'll I'll show some pictures and um, leave it at that thank you for watching